One of the most important developments in the last few years has been the meteoric rise of digital ecosystems. New configurations for firms to collaborate and combine as they seek to create and capture value. There are two kinds of ecosystems. Multi-product ecosystems that are based on digitally stitching together services around broader customer needs and multi-actor ecosystems that are based on collaborating with others as a partner or a complementor. The more products and services a firm offers, the more likely it needs to engage with complementors. The first choice a firm must make is deciding a multi-product scope through both an outside-in approach and inside-out analysis. Outside-in thinking helps firms determine what external trends and events can be exploited to find their multi-product scope whereas inside-out analysis helps create a starting point for defining their offer by looking at their own skills, assets, and opportunities. For example, Apple thought outside-in when they created the App Store. They saw the rise in smartphone usage and creation of apps, and they used that to create their own successful multi-product system. After deciding on a multi-product scope, firms should consider working as a multi-actor ecosystem and deciding what role they should play for their customers. Firms should be an orchestrator as if it attracts both partners and customers, such as offering access to super apps that customers enjoy. On the other hand, firms should be a partner if it is more beneficial to be a nodal collaborator, having direct contact with the end customer and developing smaller ecosystems within the broader context. WeChat Europe was an example of this, partnering with KPN, a Dutch teleco giant, to make payments and other discounts in major European cities. After determining their role, firms must learn how to effectively build their multi-actor ecosystem. First, firms must establish the value proposition of their ecosystem for both the end customer and other ecosystem participants. Then, they should take a deep dive into the capabilities of the local firm and its relationships with partners, asking what skills or resources are needed. Lastly, they should figure out the rules and roles in ecosystem governance, such as how decision rights should be allocated. Altogether, these steps can help firms effectively navigate and implement digitalization in their ecosystems. To learn more, read How to Compete When Industries Digitize and Collide, an Ecosystem Development Framework by Michael Jacobides and California Management Review, Volume 64, Issue 3.